Hello folks, and hello YouTube. Welcome back for another video of Outdoor Adventures, Austin Miller. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, first of all, the Cleveland Browns lost today. The Baltimore Ravens, uh, well, the Bengals and Steelers did. Um, it would have been nice if the Browns would have won today, because they could have gotten sole possession of first place, but four games into the season, I mean, they still got time to win the EFC North Division and make the playoffs. I mean, they got a bye week coming up next week, which means Deshaun Watson and players will have a chance. A lot of our players will have a chance to get healthy. So, at least that's the positive thing. But, I will say this. There is absolutely no way the Cleveland Browns are going to beat a team like the Baltimore Ravens if they can't stop Lamar Jackson, and especially Mark Andrews, because they don't stop Lamar Jackson or Mark Andrews, they're not going to beat Baltimore. So, and uh, basically up to our backup quarterback, even though, even though we didn't get the win today, but it is what it is. There's too many penalties, not very much offense, not very much defense. Although it woke up a little bit in the second half of the game, but if the Browns are going to beat a team like Baltimore, trust me, we're going to trust me, we're going to get them back in November in Baltimore. We'll get them back, and uh, we'll be healthy enough, we'll be strong enough, we'll beat them. But if they're going to beat a team like Baltimore, they've got to get to Lamar Jackson. They've got to keep sacking him and keep forcing him in the offense into short gains and making sure Baltimore turns the ball over a lot more often. And especially, they cannot leave Mark Andrews wide open all the time. Or there's no absolutely way they're going to win. So that's what the, the things they have to do against Baltimore if they're going to beat them next time. But um, they play the 49ers next, and uh, hopefully... Hopefully the Browns will beat them this time. I think the last time, well, I was watching this game with my grandfather. I was watching them play 49ers last time we faced off. Actually, when we beat we beat the 49ers. I was back on December 13th, 2015. The last time the Browns won a game against the 49ers. So that's like seven, almost eight years ago. So hopefully the Browns will win. On, yeah, the Sunday after the, this next Sunday. But, we still got a shot at the division, the if and more division. Still make the playoffs. I mean, our defense is playing real good this season, but as a Browns fan, you got to stick with them no matter if they win or lose. That's what a true diehard Cleveland Browns fan is. And that's what a true diehard, diehard Cleveland Browns fan does. They stick with their team no matter if they win or lose, but... The best thing I'd like to see him do is hopefully stay healthy. And I would really like God to protect them from the injury plague. That's all I want this Cleveland Browns team to be is protected from injuries and not have any injuries. Or we're going nowhere. I mean, it hurts and it sucks still losing Nick Chubb for the season. But it is what it is. And look at the Browns a couple years ago during when we had that huge COVID outbreak. Huge COVID-19 outbreak. Had a bunch of rookies stepped up and they got in the playoffs that season. And won a playoff game against the Steelers. Which was incredible. At least it's not like that this year. No widespread COVID outbreaks. So at least that's a good thing. But... Hopefully, the Cleveland Browns, during their bye week, they'll have a chance to get a lot healthier. Um, I know Ohio State, they got a tough matchup against 5-0 Maryland. So, they're going to have a tough environment when they play the Terps. The Terrapins, or Terps for short. But, uh, yeah, they're going to have to play really well against them. Well, I hope we can beat Michigan this year. It'd be nice. Um, but, yeah, as for the Cleveland Browns, they've... They'll, they'll bounce back and beat the 49ers, but 
They got to contain Nick Boza. And the Browns' defense, they got to win the turnover battle, force some more turnovers, whether it's fumbles or interceptions. But force their opponents to basically more three and outs and more punts. The more that they do that, and they did that against Cincinnati, and they did that against Tennessee last week, and it helped them win. So they have a good enough defense, a good enough offense all day long, all game long. Cleveland Browns are legit this season, but they've got they've got to keep fighting, keep it going, and use that power of teamwork wisely, but play with the true meaning of teamwork. But anyway, I figured I'd show my reactions. Cleveland Browns game. The Browns losing to Baltimore. Um, it stings, but gotta move past it. And Cleveland Browns fans. Let's hope we get a win against the San Francisco 49ers for the first time in almost eight years. So, hopefully. Yeah. The last time I've seen them win against 40, the 49ers, I think, was back on December 13th, 2015. I remember because I was watching that game with my grandfather when he when he was around. Um, He was a military policeman. He was in the Vietnam War and stuff. Great, great grandfather he was. He was a Browns fan and a Buckeyes fan. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, he's always with me in spirit. And, uh, of course, my friend Kim and my cat Dinah, who I lost a while back ago. Still struggle without her, but... With God's presence in my life, I'm never alone. But hopefully Newark, Ohio can get some heavy rain Friday. We need a good, we need a good soaking rain here. Newark, Ohio is back in a drought, but everything other than that, stay tuned for more. Like, subscribe, and comment. Leave lots of likes, comments, and views on this video. If you guys have any questions... And have anything I need to pray over, pray for, let me know in the comments. Alright guys, God bless you, have a great night, and uh, stay tuned for more.